So if anyone's not familiar with Magic, uh, our site is just magic.link. You can check that out. But um, as Vish said, it's a, um, it's a developer SDK that lets you easily integrate uh, passwordless authentication into any app. And then um, today we'll be demoing um, or you know, showing how you can create an application with a, a command line tool that we created similar to uh, create magic app. Uh, so it'll create an app with magic authentication um, connected to a Hasura app. Um, so to get started, all you have to do is click uh, write MPX make magic, and then it'll prompt you for a project name, and then we'll choose my app, and then we'll select the Hasura template. There's also like React template, Next.js template, um, et cetera. And then it'll ask for uh, the API keys from magic and then it'll ask for the um, hasura project url so now we can uh, create a hasura project and then use um, this url for the prompt and then it'll download um, it'll scaffold uh, a working application for us and then the only thing um, now that we need to do is because uh, the authentication is gonna rely on JSON web tokens that uh, are gonna be created by our backend and then verified by Hasura to, to read and write data from the database. Um, so we just need to make sure that we give Hasura the JWT secret, which we can do in the environment variables tab. And then it'll follow this simple um, structure with just the key and the type. And then um, as mentioned before, the secret will automatically be generated by magic and in the uh, environment uh, variables file, file. And so once we add this, then um, we can uh, launch the console. And then the last thing that we need to do uh, is just make sure that the the database schema that magic that the magic app we created thinks uh, is uh, created is actually um, how our app works. And I believe Heroku is having some, okay, they were having some issues, but it's working now, which is nice. Um, and so once the, the database is created in Hasura, we will just, uh, we'll be able to create a user's table and then uh, within the users table, there will be two, uh, two columns. So it'll be issuer, which is magic's uh, like unique identifier for each user. And then the user's email. So this will also be type text. And then the primary key for the table will be issuer. And then we can create a uh, click add table. And so here you'll be able to see that there are no users in our um, in our app, but then if we if we start the application, start in localhost three thousand, and then um, so we will be able to basically log in with Magic, and then when the user logs in, they'll be entered into our um, Hasura database. So again, Magic is totally passwordless, so um, the, the SDK handles everything for you. So it uh, emails the link to the user, clicks the link to log in. And then the user is logged in. And then if we go back to Hasura, if we query the, the database, oh, not sure why that didn't work, but um, the user should be, should be entered here. And, um, you know, that is, uh, just sort of high level, um, or I guess from, from a user standpoint, how it works. And then to run through um, just the code quickly. So we have um, a the magic login SDK method. So just log in with magic link, which prompts the, um, the magic link to be sent. And then it resolves to an authentication token when the user clicks it, which we just send to our backend. And then in the back end, we verify the authentication token, grab user data from uh, the token, create a JSON web token. And then uh, basically we check if the user exists in Hasura 
If not, then create it and send the response back to the front end to show that the user's logged in. Um, so yeah, that is uh, our, our uh, way of uh, showing how you can create a really easy application with authentication and Hasura um, without really much work at all.